Luckily, this truck gets great gas mileage. I think I am going to get gas at that gas station if we stop. Because we're stopping anyway. So we might as well just get gas. Also, I hope you guys have been watching... Okay, now that is the in-game audio telling you that you're getting tired. I get comments in every single video. What was that yawning? Why were you yawning and talking at the same time? No. That is 67. Are you kidding me? Um, that is the in-game, like, without looking at your, uh, how long you have till you need to sleep, that's the game telling you, hey, your guy is getting tired, you're gonna need to sleep soon. Um, and I've seen people say, turn off fatigue. What's the point of that? That's not real. Truckers don't drive just unlimited hours in a day. They're not just like, oh, I can, I'm going to drive 47 hours today. It doesn't happen. So fatigue is staying on. And that yawn is just the in-game, just the in-game message way of saying, hey, you're getting tired, so look for a place to sleep. So... I'll clear up that confusion before it even starts. We're going to get over, because I'm guessing this is going to be a one lane. But then again, it'll probably be two, because when I expect it to be one, it's not. But those cars are going slow anyway, so <sighs> we'll get around them. Uh, and it's a two. <sighs> Assholes. And there's another toll. The second toll coming up. See if we can get around this guy. Oops. Didn't want to do that. I think it would be really cool to drive a truck in real life. I think if and when YouTube ever, you know, YouTubing for me ever stops, I really don't have, don't worry, I don't have any plans to stop anytime soon, but I can't imagine it would last forever. Um, I think I might want, I might go into trucking. I might go and get my CDL and go into, you know, doing trucking or something. I think that'll be really, really cool. And then again, I don't know, for those people that are still around and want to know what I'm doing after YouTube, I don't know. I Again, YouTube is a thing that kind of just lasts. I don't know. You never know when it's going to end or any of that, so I don't know. But if I stop gaming on YouTube and I go out and like, get a trucking license and start trucking as a career, you know... I might bring a GoPro. It's weird to talk about this because I really I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know what the future holds with me and YouTube and how long it's going to be and what I'm going to do afterwards and any of that. But if it ever comes to the point where I stop my YouTube and I go get a truck and start trucking and doing all that, um, we're going to go to the next gas station. We have 55 minutes. Um... I'll, I'll probably, I'll buy a GoPro, a couple GoPros, and I'll be recording me driving, if whatever company I'm driving for allows that. But I think that'll be cool for those people that still care about what I'm doing after my gaming channel. I, again, it's weird to talk about that because I don't know how long <laughs> this is going to last. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. And that's the thing, is I don't know when... I don't know when people are just gonna. I'm I'm still waiting for the day that people are just gonna be like, oh, Barry Bugs. Oh yeah, that guy sucks on YouTube. Let's stop watching him. <sighs> I'm still waiting for those days. But as far as I know, in the near future, I don't see that happening. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep YouTubing as long as I can, and I'll if if and. If I ever stop, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing after, I guess. I don't know, for those of you that care. But we're going to go ahead and let's stop at this gas station. Oh, 
All right. Let's, uh... Oops, I detached my trailer. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Um... Yeah, let's fill up on gas. Let's see. Uh, half a tank, I'm expecting... 800 pounds? Nah, uh, probably more than that. Probably 1,000. What are we at? Ah, 992. I was kind of wrong. I detached the trailer again. Why do I keep doing that? So, 992 pounds. Half a tank. That's quite a lot. We're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Alright, parking brake, truck off. Got my oops, we don't need the flashers on. Parking lights on. Yep. Alright, let's sleep. Alrighty. It's morning. Early morning. Let's see what time it is. 8.15 in the morning. So uh turn off parking lights and let's get back out on the road. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say gas there? I think I should have said diesel or fuel. Because I got uh, I got PM'd on Facebook about me saying I need to get gas for my truck. So I apologize. I am not a trucker. So I don't know the uh, all the terms and the lingo and whatnot. So. But yeah, no, I just got fuel. Diesel for my truck. Not gas just to uh, clear up the confusion. But I wanted to, there's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, which is actually about trucking, not about GTA 5. I think there was someone that asked, and I probably went over this before, I can't remember, but I'm going to go over it again. Um... There was someone that asked, if you won the lotto, what would you do? Uh, if I ever won a lot of money, or came into a lot of money somehow, honestly, I would probably spend a big majority or all of it on doing a trucking simulator game. I mentioned this on Jeff's ETS2 when I was riding along with him, but for those of you that haven't seen it, I'll uh, clarify. I would pretty much spend all my money on making an American truck simulator, so simulates all of America, uh, every state, and it would be very, very detailed. Now, Euro Truck is really detailed, but my game would go into more detail. So not only would you have schedules to look after, but you would have to, you would have weigh stations that you'd need to weigh your truck. If you come up overweight, you know, you'd have to slide your tandems and your fifth wheel and pretty much do all that stuff that you do in real life when you're a trucker. Oh, come on. Come on, you asshole. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so you'd have to do everything that you do in real life as a trucker. Sliding the tandems would just be amazing to do in a game. Uh, you know, stopping in at way stations. Uh, you would... You would, and another thing is there'd be multiplayer, full-fledged, like, it would be pretty much not built around multiplayer, but there'd be a huge multiplayer addition. So, obviously, you'd have the option to not go on multiplayer if you don't want to. You can just play single player, but you would have the option to see other real-life people in trucks around you. Uh, you, can either, you can also do something like team driving, like they do with FSX, where you can have two people on one plane and then they swap controls. You, you, we can do something like that, but in Euro Truck, or not, I'm sorry, Euro Truck, but in my trucking sim. It would, be, it would kind of be like the FSX of trucking, because FS, FSX is super detailed when it comes to like, you know, just everything being correct and proper, and if it's not, then there's mods to fix it. It would be like that, but a trucking version. So, I mean, team driving, multiplayer driving, convoys, seeing other truckers, uh, damage modeled, uh, actually, like, you know, blowing tires, 
uh, having engine troubles, you know, do just everything that you can do in a trucking game. Like, obviously still the customization of trucks, the, you know, painting of trucks, maybe adding like a paint editor so you can add your own design in game. You know, all this, just all this stuff that would just make a game just fantastic. That's what I would do. If I ever won the lotto or got a bunch of money, I would just make the most detailed trucking sim game ever made. And I'm not saying that SCS doesn't know what they're doing. They make amazing trucking games. They really do. And no one else even compares to SCS's games. But obviously they don't have the budget to go into something like multiplayer. And they don't have the budget to go into really 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 super detail when it comes to all the you know the, the sliding tandems and all that stuff so if I ever got the money oh man there would be no doubt that I would I would invest in just the greatest trucking game because one I don't know what I would do with a bunch of money anyway like I don't want a Lamborghini I don't want a Ferrari I don't need any I don't need that stuff I mean those are impractical I don't need a mansion with 50 rooms. I, nobody needs that shit. So I would just make a game that I, along with everyone else in the world, can enjoy. Like, why not do that? <laughs> so that's what I would do if I ever won the lotto. Um, but what would you guys do? If you won the lotto, whatever the current lotto is in your state, I don't know how much it is in California right now, but millions, obviously. Let's say uh, if you won... <sighs> what? Anywhere from 10 to 15 million? What would you do with it? My answer is... Uh... Greatest trucking sim ever made. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be... That would just be awesome. That would be really cool. Not only to produce a game like that, but just to be able to work on it, you know? Or... no, I, I, I personally wouldn't work on it, but I mean like... If I was investing the money, obviously I'd see the behind the scenes and what really happens in making a game because honestly, when I was younger, I was so quick. I was so quick to say, oh, that sucks, that's bad, blah, 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 all this stuff. But honestly, as you get older and you really start realizing the effort that goes into just everything that you do daily, um, you know, when it comes to like people that make games, people that make TV shows, commercials, movies, just anything that's entertainment, it's so quick to say that it's bad or that it sucks. It's the easy answer. Oh, that that show, oh, it sucks. That's bad. Nah, it's terrible. It's so quick, but you have to remember that even on the the crappy shows or the you know, bad movies, there's still a lot of effort that is put into that. And you have to appreciate it for that alone. Which is something that I've lately really come to terms with is I appreciate a lot of stuff around me now. And I didn't always think like that. Um, I think it's a plus, honestly. I, I like the fact that I'm appreciating things around me. You know, I'm looking at games, I'm looking at things and movies and all that. And I'm just going... You know, that took a lot of effort to make and a lot of time, and that's what makes it good. If I, and it's it's so easy to have a closed mind too. You, you, you like one thing, so anything else that isn't that thing that you like, it's again, it's so easy just to say, nah, I don't like that, it sucks. Yeah, but think about the effort it puts in. You know, like music is another thing. People are really passionate about what kind of music they like, and they don't like to change that. So, if you just open your mind and just think about the effort is that's put into making, you know, that music, even if you don't like it, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy the effort that people put into things just for other people to say that they suck. So, anyway, that's just a tandem, tand, Bugs is good at talking. That's just a tandem that I just tandem. Oh, trucking. Trucking is in my brain. Tangent that I just went off on, but hopefully that'll kind of... Maybe that'll help you. Maybe you'll start to think that way too. I mean, just appreciate something for the effort that was put into it. 
If it's not your personal style, that's perfectly fine. If you don't like, if it's some sort of music or a game or something that's not your style, that's fine. But just understand the effort that goes into, you know, what you're saying is bad. That's all I'm, that's all I'm trying to get, up, get across. Which also applies to YouTube and YouTube videos. Just remember the effort that people put into not only myself, but all the other YouTubers out there. The effort that goes into making videos daily, or not even daily, just videos in general for people to watch, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. So before you dislike something, uh, you know, think about the time and the effort that put in, that got put into making a video. So. Then again, that's just me. I've never disliked a video on YouTube. If I don't like a video that I watch, I don't dislike, I don't comment that I don't like it, I just leave. I just close it. And that's what I wish people would do on my videos. I understand that some people don't like all my videos and that's perfectly fine. I don't need to hear about it. <laughs> I really don't need to hear about if you don't like my video. And we're probably going to have to stop here and take a break. We have these kids outside or back. Ugh. Can't wait for winter. I have these kids that every single day for an hour they come out and they ride skateboards down this little... It's not even really a hill. It's just a little, like incline it's nothing but they ride their skateboard down it for at least an hour which i'm fine i'm fine with skateboards whatever but they just scream at the top of their lungs for no reason whatsoever they're just kids so they're just they just don't think twice about screaming but when i'm in here editing or recording or doing something i just, i can't hear anything because they're just screaming <laughs> so I don't want to record that in the background, so if that starts happening, I'm going to pull off on the side of the road, and we'll pick this back up in a bit. I mean, I have been recording for an hour, and my voice is just going to explode. But whatever, we'll see. Uh, let's do another calculation. So... We have 43 hours and 45 minutes to complete the job. We need to rest in pretty much another eight hours. We're expected to get there Friday at 2 a.m., which is a little bit later than Thursday at like, what was it, 10? So, uh, but, but that's because we slept. We have another 895 kilometers to go. Really not that, not that many. Uh, but it's gonna take us another 14 hours, so we're gonna need to sleep again at some point this guy is going to stop in front of us but yeah so we're going to need to sleep again at some point but we're really we're making pretty good time making pretty good time this is the, i mean this this run is really going to help me out with doing videos i've I've actually did the math, and I need I need to do 39 videos in 14 days. Uh, typically, in 14 days, I do uh, oh god, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 14 videos. Oops, I don't need to go now into that lane. I do anywhere from 10 to 14 videos in two weeks. I mean, it's pretty basic i kind of have my schedule on how i do things but trying to do five weeks of work in two uh is i don't know it's tough uh so yeah i needed to do 39 videos in two weeks which is insane um but i've got a great start already i mean it's the fourth and i we recorded probably five hours of gta and I'm going to be doing 15, 20 minute episodes, so that'll give me double what I was going to get before of doing 30. Which I understand, I know you guys really don't like 15, 20 minute videos. I don't like putting out 15, 20 minute videos, but at the same time, at this point, I need a vacation. So if I need to put out 15 minute videos for a month for a vacation, that's what I'm doing. And it's just, that's the way it is. So... 
Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I, we got a lot of GTA. Zach and I recorded... Uh, I got a little bit of Minecraft. Um, we also recorded an, another game that I'm not going to mention, but I might do a video on. I'll see how it is. Um, and then also this Euro truck. I mean, I've been recording for an hour here. If I do end up cutting a little bit from it, you know, that's still... Instead of two episodes, that's four. And that's really going to help me out. Instead of, you know, one week of episodes, that's two weeks of episodes. So, again, it's just one of those things I have to do it to get ahead. And uh, it sucks. I don't, I don't really like doing it. But at this point, I need to do what I need to do.